Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today is a little bit different. I'm just gonna be giving you a quick little tutorial on how to customize your phone using the new iPhone update. So obviously the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is check to make sure you have the update. It is iOS 14 or later. And you can do that by going into your settings and clicking on general. And then if you click software update, which is the second one down from the top, it'll tell you what software you have. I have iOS 14. So make sure that you have that downloaded and installed. And you do need Wi-Fi to install the update and your phone has to be at either 50% or plugged in to install the update. So if it's not working, try one of those two things and then try again. The customization options that you've probably been seeing online everywhere are basically widgets. And if you don't know what a widget is, it's basically like kind of like an icon or a placeholder or a bookmark of sorts that will take you to an app if you connect it to one. So it's not the app itself. So you're not actually changing the app's cover photo, if you will. You're creating a widget that's a shortcut to the app that you want to connect it to. So. We're gonna use Instagram as an example today. And what you're gonna wanna do is search for shortcuts on your phone. You open up shortcuts, everybody has shortcuts on their iPhone. You're gonna click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, click add action, scripting, open app, and then you're gonna choose the app. So we're gonna choose Instagram of course, and then click the three dots at the top right corner. We're gonna add the shortcut name Instagram, and then click the purple icon to the left of it with the two tiles, one on top of the other. And then these are all the color options for glyphs that you can choose from. I've been using this kind of like olive green. And then if you scroll over to glyph, you can choose the glyph that you want. I was using this one for Instagram, but they obviously have a lot of options, which is nice and it makes it look really cute and then you just click done when you're done. And it's very simple, but before you click done, you wanna click add to home screen. It's gonna ask you new shortcut um, for the home screen name and icon. So you wanna rename it, we're gonna rename it Instagram. And this is also where if you wanna upload your own photo or your own design, this is where you do that. So before you click add to the left of the Instagram, you see my little icon, if you click on that, you can take photo, choose photo, or choose file. So if you personally wanna design all of your own widgets and then put them on your phone, that's how you upload your own personal design or photo. And then, of course, we'll just click add, and then it says add it to home screen, and then we just click done when we're done. Then, as you'll notice, there is gonna be a duplicate on Instagram, since one of these is a widget and one of these is actually the app itself. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold down the Instagram app itself and remove it. But instead of removing it or deleting it off your phone, you wanna move it to your app library to make sure that it's still there for that shortcut to work. It just won't be on your home screen anymore. And if you wanna go to your app library and see all of your apps, you can just swipe all the way to the left and your app library will come up. Since this is a shortcut, if you click on the app, it's gonna open your shortcuts page first and then take you to the app. So that's just something to keep in mind. It is important to note though that since these are just widgets, they're not actually apps, they won't show you notifications. So if you're somebody who needs to see that red bubble notification to know if you have a missed call or a missed text message, make sure you leave the app itself open. So as you can see, I put mine on the bottom here. That way I know if I have an email a call or a text, if I just had the widget icon, I wouldn't know because there's no red bubbles that are gonna pop up with any of these since these are just like bookmarks, if that makes sense. So that's something to keep in mind. But that is it for the basics of using the Shortcuts app to make widgets to customize your iPhone. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.